Hey, how are you? Today another question. Here is the question. Which of the nerve listed below is responsible for providing voluntary control of urethral sphincter? In this question, we can see here. Which of the nerve listed below responsible for providing voluntary control of urethral sphincter? So we have to find out the nerve which uh, supplies the urethral, urethral sphincter and which is voluntary in nature. So let's see here uh, the options. Here the options are inferior hypogastric plexus, superior hypogastric plexus, obturator nerve, femoral nerve and pudental nerve. Here first of all we have to say it is voluntary. We know that parasympathetic supply is autonomic supply sympathetic parasympathetic supply they are not voluntary so sympathetic and parasympathetic supply first of all should excluded so we know that from the sympathetic and parasympathetic plexus there are different plexus drive so uh, sympathetic parasympathetic nerve fiber different plexus so inferior hypogastric plexus and superior hypogastric plexus they are usually part of autonomic system so they first excluded so other nerve here, obturator nerve, femoral nerve and parental nerve uh, in among this there will be an option. So here we can see sacral 2, sacral 3 and sacral 4 spinal nerve root. From there a nerve is arising, this nerve is parental nerve and this parental nerve. Uh, it arses here the sacrotuberous uh, sacrospinous ligament and it enters into the parental canal and First of all, if it gives a branch inferior rectal nerve, then gives another branch in the parental canal so that is perineal nerve, and finally gives another branch dorsal nerve of the penis, and it reaches in the penis, and it supply the urethra of external sphincter of the urethra. So our answer is parental nerve, which arises sacral two, sacral three, sacral four. This nerve root. Also, also very important. This is uh, the parental nerve arises from the sacral to sacral three, sacral four. This nerve root should be remembered carefully, and it travels a long path and finally reaches into the urethra and supplies the external urethral sphincter. So our final answer: parental nerve. Parental nerve is uh, responsible for voluntary control of the urethral sphincter. On the other hand, if we see the femoral nerve, it supplies the anterior aspect of the thigh muscles, uh, they are sartorius, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, rectus femoris. This is a group of muscles are supplied by the femoral nerve. And um, the cutaneous uh, adjacent the area. On the other hand, if we see the obturator nerve, obturator nerve, and uh, the femoral nerve and uh, obturator nerve both arises from uh, lumbar. 2 and uh, the obturator nerve which uh, supplies the adductor group of muscle and the medial aspect of the thigh and supplies adductor longus brevis adductor magnus uh, pectineus gracilis this group of muscle so obturator and femoral nerve they are thigh muscle uh, they usually uh, don't reach in the urethral sphincter and the plexus, the plexus usually arises from the autonomic nerve and here voluntary, we know that uh, voluntary control is not uh, uh, supplied by or controlled by sympathetic parasympathetic supply or autonomic supply. So our final answer is pudental nerve which is responsible for voluntary control of the urethral sphincter. Thank you all.